Good afternoon, JJ Janning, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrid, coming to you from a field in southeastern North Dakota. As you can see, the field behind me was pretty heavily infested with a disease called Goss's wilt. Goss's wilt was once known to be a disease that primarily affected the state of Nebraska, but over the last few years has really migrated its way north and affected the Dakotas and Minnesota as well. Some of the key identification factors that really separates this disease from a disease that's very similar looking is north, such as northern corn leaf blight are the cigar-shaped lesions. And within those cigar-shaped lesions, you're looking for the black, black freckling, all right? Within that black freckling, you may also notice kind of a shiny exudate, which is the bacterial ooze that will come up throughout that leaf throughout the growing season. Uh, those two diseases look very similar to each other, but Goss's wilt has a couple different key factors that really separates it. So overall impact on yield. So since it affects the leaf tissue, what it can do is, depending on when it sets in, can really shut that plant down by affecting that leaf tissue, forcing that leaf tissue to coalesce, die off. And in this particular case, you'll notice that these particular cobs, although not real impressive, one other thing you'll notice is the kernels are awfully shallow. And, and what actually happened here was it forced it to black layer early, which is gonna cause it to have significantly lighter test weight. So what can we do to prevent Goss's wilt? Well, since Goss's wilt is a bacterial disease, there are no fungicides on the market that will help in the prevention of this particular disease. What you can do is talk to your local Pioneer sales professional and identify key hybrids that are extremely effective in treating this particular disease. That's all I have for you from Southeast North Dakota. Good luck to you this fall. We'll see you soon. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.